Hello everybody, yes it's Pythia and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be talking about how to make an avatar importer, I mean how to import your avatar into the Roblox game, Roblox Studio. Now uh, this is a very simple tutorial, it's just for people who are still probably having troubles with the avatar game. I know there's a lot of questions about that and I made one already about this but I'm going to make a new one because this was a plugin that was actually made by a fan and he told me to bring it out to you guys and of course I will. Um, feel free to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel um, and you're watching this video. Please hit that subscribe button. I'll be so sad if you aren't subscribed. Um, but yeah, so you're just going to go into Studio. It's very simple. And when you're in Studio, you're going to go in the description and just grab the link. Um, you can also join the Discord because this is in the Discord, by the way. Um, but in here, you're going to grab this right here. This is Avatar Importer Pro. Now, I'm pretty sure this is free to you guys. It should be free as well. Um, but you can just go into here and there's the certain things and we'll talk about this in here, but just feel free to grab that plugin. And, um, I want you to let you know as well, of course, there are so many ways of getting plugins. If you just go to the toolbox, of course, and, um, we'll just look in here and you can just search up plugins right here and search up, uh, avatar, you know, importer. Um, now there's a lot of avatar importers, but the only thing that I want you guys to know is that some of them don't work correctly for the avatar game. That is because some of them do not give you a humanoid description is what the main like issue is that people are having. Um, but so when you get the plugin, when you go in here, you're just going to hit that plugins tab. Okay. And there's a manage plugins button. So just go in here and it, it should actually be automatically uh, like done for you guys. So you should be like chilling and it should be already loaded in. Um, your plugins are all the way up here, of course, but I just need to find mine real quick. Ah, I actually didn't even have it installed. Okay, so I actually had to install it. Make sure you install it. Uh, now that it's installed, I actually have it. So we can go over here. Now it's just a script, right? It's just going to look like here. It's going to be this little open avatar thing. So I'll just put this over properties for now so you can see. But yeah, so you're just going to type in the uh, player's name. Um, depending on what you want to do with that, you can import yourself. Now, like I said, you guys, are <laughs> there's definitely some harder ways to do this. But yeah, so either way... Um, I'll just click allow so import avatar um, there you go so now you have your character um, so basically uh, you know this just manages and imports the character for you and then in here of course you have the humanoid and then a humanoid description which uh, is the main deal of what this avatar thing works but yeah so it's a simple uh, thing and it's for free so I'm glad you know everyone can go ahead and find this because um, it's super nice, and yeah, if I want to do rigs uh, like R6, you can do R6 as well, which is nice. Um, but yeah, so this is a free alternative version for you guys, so I, I wanted to bring it out to you. Um, and like I said, if you do want to spend some money and you have a bigger game, um, you can go ahead and get the CFS one, which was on. It's honestly really cool because it like lets you change the character in real time. Um, but for now, I would just feel free to use this because it's just like super nice and it does the right thing for it to work in your game um but yeah that's that's it it's honestly a little simple tutorial you know you just use this you write in the name and then um it should just import the character for you and then go however you want to do it um there there's definitely other ways you can do this but i feel like that's probably the easiest way for you guys um now if you do have any more questions just feel free to leave them below um, I think the main thing is just, uh, you know, getting that into your game is the best part. And, um, you know, later in the next video, I'm actually going to be redoing the avatar creator. So if you guys are still watching, uh, I'm actually remaking the video and it's going to be a brand new kit. That's actually much easier than just adding accessories to people. It's just going to be the IDs and you don't even have to worry about it. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys have a good one. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.